the Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day 249 of a daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is the Bicycle Majestic Playing Cards from Elite Playing Cards. So, no further ado, let's take a look and see what we get. And we have the Bicycle Majestic Playing Cards in a matte black finished tuck box with a bunch of gold foiling all over the tuck box. Here it says Bicycle. Majestic playing cards and the bicycles in that gold foil and it is like ever so slightly textured on the front here So you got the a little oval design here with the spade inside with a little bit of a crown there And the bottom of the spade it says majestic in that little ribbon and playing cards underneath and you got a little bit of details around and you got that gold border and on the side it says the United States playing card company Elder Kentucky. Other side says a bicycle, one hundred and one thirty-three years edition. On the bottom, you got a little bit of information saying twenty thirteen elite playing cards. That says twenty eighteen. So all these cards I'm assuming are from twenty eighteen, made by the United States Playing Card Company in the U.S. On the back, you got a sneak peek up at a back design, one more gold foiling and slight textures. On the top, it says Air Cushion Finish, made in the USA. On the inner tuck flap, you got some corporate information and the Elite playing, card, playing Cards logo there. On the inner tuck flap, just that matte black finish. And we take the cards out of the box. On the inside of the tuck box, it is just plain white. Nothing too crazy or fancy going on inside there. Now that we're seeing the tuck box, have a take a look at the cards. First, we'll start with that back design. Here we have a, a mirrored, yeah, a mirrored back design with the standard white border, and it's a the, the border definitely looks a little bit thicker, so it's a thicker white border. And then for the design here, you got that like mirrored oval design with the little like, flat, like the leaf kind of pattern going inside with the crown and that little little bird symbol at the bottom. And you got the two horses on either side. You got the black background and then you got the little gold pinstripe little border around and then the thick white border around that and it is a mirrored back then so we flipped over it's the same design in both directions and then you can zoom in really closer like right up there around the horses there also is a little bit of uh it's really faint but you can see a little bit of detailing behind those horses there on either side but when you zoom out, it's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see it. For now, for the cards you get with the deck. Here we start with that first Joker. It says Joker Joker on either side with that little crown. And you kind of got a little, a little bottle cap, kind of like circle design there with the Joker inside and kneeling down. And then for the second Joker, you kind of got like a silhouette of the Joker. It says Joker Joker there at the top. You got that silhouette of the Joker wearing the suit. And then it says inspired by Bobby Thornton. And then for the custom Ace of Spades, similar to the front of the tuck box a little bit. We got that oval design with the spade on the inside. There. And with that little bit of a goldish color there on the inside. It says Ace of Spades there and the ribbon at the bottom. And it was premium. And then the United States Planker Company, United States of America. And then you got the crown. On either side there and then for the rest of this spade you kind of got a thicker number there in the corners and you got the custom spades there was that kind of little pinstripe kind of little detailing of like the gold on either side of the spade there that goes through the rest of the spades and then for the court cards they're just standard court cards just some more in a gray and tan kind of colorway and then for the diamonds, they got another little of their own little design there on the other side there. They're more of that gold kind of little detailing to the diamonds there. A pretty standard looking diamonds other than that little detailing. And then for the court cards, once again, you got that just the gray and tan colorway. Same thing for the clubs, that gray and tan colorway, standard court cards. And then for the, the clubs here. Got that slight custom club design. And then you got that little leaf pattern within the clubs there. That goes throughout the rest of the clubs. 
And then for the hearts, the court cards are standard once again, just in that grand hand colorway. And then for the hearts, you got another little pattern there. And yeah, a little pattern on either side there. Kind of a little gold swirly kind of leaf kind of pattern there. That goes throughout the rest of the hearts. The hearts are slightly custom, but still pretty standard looking. And then for the last two cards, you get a double backer of that back design. And then you get an elite playing cards. We'll add card there. And now that we took a look at the cards, time to test the handling. And these should handle pretty nice because they are a bicycle deck made by the United States Plant Car Company with that iconic air cushion finish. But first, we'll start with the springs. Well, the cards seem to spring pretty nice. The springs almost feel a little bit slippery, so they could just go flying out of your hands. But they still feel pretty smooth. They got a nice flex to it. They're not like super flexible. Well, they're close to fl really flexible. But there's no stiffness to them, so they're not hard to spring. They're nice and easy to spring, like they got a nice bend to it. And you can definitely feel the cards are almost too slippery. But they're still pretty nice. Nothing wrong with those springs. Now on to fans. Well, as you can see, they spread pretty evenly. You can see most of the pips and numbers. There's no stickiness or clumpiness to the cards whatsoever. Pretty smooth and consistent. Now on to the Pharaoh. And as you can see, they Pharaohed pretty smoothly there. No issues whatsoever, flawlessly. Now for that giant fan of the back design. Now for the reverse pharaoh. And the reverse pharaoh wasn't as, wasn't that bad at all. They did catch slightly, but they're going to lock and weave pretty flawlessly. Once again, now for that giant fan of the faces. Now time for the Riffle Shuffle or Bridge Shuffle. Well, they feel really super smooth and crisp. No real issues with the Riffle Shuffles or Bridge Shuffles. Nice and consistent, they're pretty smooth. There's no stickiness to them, they're not like stickiness, they're nice and like smooth. They got a nice bend to them. They're not like overly hard to bend. Nice like consistent kind of riffle there. Now on to the pack of cuts. Overall, pretty consistent and well, well done pack of cuts. No real issues there. Not like overly slippery. Maybe from time to time they're a little bit slippery. We're not too bad. Pretty average. Most decks can pack a cut the same. There's no real issues 
with the pack of cutting, pretty average compared to most decks. Now time for the one-handed cut or Sherry Aid cut. Now time for the dribble. And as always, the dribbles are always a little bit slippery for me. For some reason, the cards just want to go flying out. Well, the dribbles feel pretty smooth, and they feel nice like in the hands. For me, they are just really slippery for some reason, and just keep dropping them. But they're really nice to dribble. Totally nothing wrong with those dribbles. We're now time for that spread fan. And lastly, spread the cards on the table. Well, like I say, it's definitely an interesting deck. Look at that interesting back design. Definitely not my style back design. But I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad design at all. I'm saying it's not my kind of style. And you got the slightly custom faces there. I like the color of the court cards. They're still standard court cards. But I like the color with the tan gray. Not a bad choice there. And then you got those slightly custom faces there. The overall design. It's an okay design. Nothing like overly special or crazy going on. But then for the handling. It is bicycle. So they were handled fantastic. So there's no issues there. Just a little bit, they could be a little bit slippery when they're new out of the box. And but they're nice and smooth and they handle fantastic. They're not overly stiff. So they're nice and like flexible. There's no stickiness to them. Really spread nice and even there. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. This has been Day 249 of a daily deck review. This has been the Bicycle Majestic Playing Cards from Elite Playing Cards. And I'm the Canadian Card Collector, signing out. That's the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.